Amen. Welcome her today to the house of God. Amen. But it, there, there should be no, no division. If you're, if you're a Christian, if you're born again, you ought to be under the umbrella of Jesus Christ. Amen. Many of us here have come out of lives, amen, that if, if, if anybody knew your story, they'd know that it was impossible for you to change yourself, but it took the hand of Almighty God to come and transform you. Give the Lord praise, because that's what it takes. No one, no one can change an individual except God alone. You, you, we've all tried to change at some point or another in our own lives, but, but we change for a season and then we go right back. But you know, when God touches a life, when God touches that person, let me tell you something. He can go back, but he'll be the most miserable person in the world. Are, are you with me? Because God's touch is different than anybody else's touch. There is no touch in this earth or anywhere else that greater and more powerful than the touch of God. So I want to I want to share with you today because, in spite of no matter what uh, what you voted like or you didn't vote or whatever that. None of that really matters. I want to share something with you that I believe you and I need to, to, to do if we're going to walk in victory. How many here want to walk in victory? Want to, want to just get it, get it going there? It's good to see Donnie here this, this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We've got time down here. Amen. Now, let, let, me, let me say this. Every one of us, there's no one here exempt from trials. No one. I don't care who we, who we are. I don't care how long we've been in Christianity. I don't care if you've been there 50 years or whatever. None of us are exempt from trials. But I want to say something to you. That as you allow God to develop you, as you allow God to work in you, you know how to deal with trials. I want to welcome Brother Ray Hernandez from Bible School. He's here. Amen. He's one of our students. Amen. I want to have him preach tonight. Amen. He'll be preaching here tonight. But let me, let me say this. Let me say this to you. No one, no one, no one is exempt from the attacks of the enemy. We all face them. How many here face attacks of the enemy? Amen. We all face them. But, but I want to I wanna share with you what, what, why, why God allows it to happen and, and what, what should be our response to this. Are, are you with me, church? Because I want to say something to you. There will, be, there will be harder trials up the road. Are you with me? And, and you and I have got to, you and I have got to, place it in our hearts and in our minds that we are going to walk with Jesus Christ no matter what. How many here have decided you're going to walk with Jesus no matter what? We're, 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 listen, I wish I could tell you that, that we're just going to roller skate all the way to heaven. We used to have a song they used to sing about roller skating. Uh, roller skating to uh, the kids used to sing a song about roller skating and they'd be you know I want to roller skate and all kinds of stuff well let me tell you something that was for the little kids amen that kept them going in Sunday school but but I want to say something to you that uh, we, we are going to have to become real say real with the Lord amen are you with me so I want you to go with me Amen. Go with me to the book of Hebrews, and then we're going to be going from there into some other areas, amen, that I want to go with you into. But I want to, I want to read to you because you see, the, 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 there's a difference between a test and a trial. A test and a trial. 
Amen. A test, a test will always reveal what you have. A test will always reveal your character, what you carry, how much of God is really in your life. A test will reveal your heart. Are you with me? But a trial, a trial, it, it, even though it's similar to it, will reveal God, God's power, God with you, the manifestation power of God with you. And I'm going to show you in just a moment the revealed Word of God. Say the revealed Word of God. The Bible from Genesis all the way to Revelations reveals God. Everything, everything about Him, His character, His attributes, everything about God is in that Bible. Are you with me? So the Word of God, the Word of God is what you and I need to stand on so that you and I can make it through. Amen. Because how many know that God has all things under control? Are you with me? Do you believe that? Give Him praise if you believe that. But see, but see, as much as we know that, he cannot stop you. If you decide you don't want to walk by faith with him, he can't stop you from leaving. You and I got to make up our minds and hearts that we will really want to go to heaven. This is not our home right here. This is not where we're going to live forever. Your street address is a temporary residence. You're, you were destined to live in heaven with Jesus Christ. Is there anybody here today? We got a different address. You're a foreigner. Say, I'm a foreigner. I'm an illegal. I'm living in America illegally. I don't even have a green card. My, my, my destination is heaven. That's where we're going to live. Come on, anybody here? And, and the Bible says, the Bible says in the near future, now, now hear this, some people want to believe it's going to happen in the middle and the end, and I, it, I don't care, no, no matter what you want to believe, you believe whatever. But I want to say this, the Bible says there's going to come a time when a trumpet is going to sound, and those that are walking with God are going to disappear. Millions around the world say millions around the world, are going to disappear in a twinkling of an eye and we're going to live with Christ forever. That's what the Bible says. We're going to be with Him forever. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. So keep that in mind, okay? Now Hebrews chapter 12, I want you to see this with me because a trial reveals God is meant to reveal God as you stand with God, as you grab the, the Word of God and the Word of God is revealed to you, then God manifests Himself through that Word. Are you with me, church? He, he, he makes Himself real to you through that Word. Anybody home? I said, anybody here? A test is different. A test Amen. It's testing you, what you got, what you got, what you have. For instance, you go to work and, 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 and your friends there are trying to tempt you to go to happy hour. Well, you got to tell them, no, that's not happy hour. That's sad hour. Happy hour is Jesus. We spell it different. Amen. So, so imagine, you know, that's a test. You're being tested. You're being tested to see what you're going to do, to see what you really got in you, to see what you really believe. Your heart is revealed. Your character is revealed. All about you is revealed. Come on, is there anybody home? With a test, you're, you're, being, you're being tested. Your heart is being exposed. But in a trial, it's different. Even though both of them, now listen to me, both of them deal with patience and endurance. Both of them. But the trial will reveal God's heart. 
the word of God will become real. Say real. So I've gone that far. I want to say this to you. I want to say this to you. There's a lot of Christians falling apart. And the reason they fall apart, listen to me, because they have not learned how to stand on God's revealed word. They, they go by their feelings and their emotions. Haven't you seen, haven't you heard most Christians how this, they talk? I, I don't know, I feel this way. I don't know, uh, do you, I feel, I don't know, I just feel all wore out. I just feel this and I feel that. Haven't you heard that? Okay, that's your flesh. The Word of God is God's heart. All right? So remember that because I'm going to go somewhere with this with you. We're, we want victory. How many want victory? How many want to walk with God? Amen. How many really want to walk with the Lord? We got to walk with God, church. We, we got to walk with God. It, you know what? Listen, I could tell you a lot of things I'm not going to because, because man, you know, I get so, so much hate mail. Uh, li listen. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. What's coming down the pipeline, if, you're not, if you don't grab yourself and really ground yourself in the Word of God, not in your emotions and feelings, and that, but in the Word of God, you'll be swept away. It's going to get harder. It's not going to get easier. It's going to get harder. How many know the devil is fighting for your soul? What's at stake here is your soul. It's eternity. Eternity is at stake here. It's not, it's not, it's, it, listen to me, it's not your job and, 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 and paying your bills. And all. The devil could care less about that. He's after your soul. Are you with me? Well, I got news for you. Jesus gave his life over 2,000 years ago because he wants your soul. Is there anybody here? Your Creator loves you. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. So, so, so I want you to understand that, 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 that trials and tests are different. But let's read this in chapter 12, amen, of Hebrews. And we're going we're gonna to look to verse 2. Verse 1, you know that. We're running this race. We're going, well, let's read it. Let's read verse 1. Go back to verse 1 because some, some, some of us are new here. We're, we're running a race. We're going in this place. God has us in this, this road we're heading, this journey. And, and it says it like this. Therefore then, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, and I was thinking about it this morning, Sister Bertha, I could just see Brother Muniz over there cheering you on. I can see some of you, your loved ones that have gone to heaven, are, are they're cheering you on. They're calling out to you, man. You keep going. Don't quit. Don't give up. You just keep pressing on. You just, are you with me? We got a great cloud of witnesses. These are people that have made it before you and I ever started. Now look at this. Surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses who have borne testimony to the truth. Let us, now look at this, let us strip off and throw aside every encumbrance. Let us strip off and throw aside every encumbrance. All those things we add on to ourselves that weigh us down. All those things. Listen, we listen to everybody's way of wanting to serve the Lord. Well, you can serve the Lord like this, and you can do that, and you can do this. Listen, stop all that nonsense and get into the Word of God. I said, get into the Word of God and find out how to serve Jesus the way He wants you to serve Him. Amen. Are you with me, church? So look what he says. Let us, he says, let us strip off and throw aside every encumbrance, unnecessary weight. He says, you're carrying too much weight that's going to slow you down. It's going to wear you out. Are you here today? And look what he's saying. And, and look what he says. And that sin which so, so, so readily tests you. It tests you. It's always testing you. You know, uh, well, pastor, I don't know. I, I, I told my friends, I don't want to do what they're doing anymore. But they keep coming over and they break the bag out. T 
Tell him to leave. Simple. Hey, the test, the test, say the test. We get tested. We're tested to see what we're going to do. See what's going to happen. Look at this. And let us strip off and throw aside every encumbrance, let's away, and that sin which so readily, defectly, and cleverly clings to and entangles us. And let us run. He says, get rid of all that. Break yourself free. Come and bring it under the blood of Jesus. Break yourself free from that. He says, and then he says, look, at, look what he says. And let us, and let us run with patience, endurance, and steady and active persistence, the appointed cause of the race that is set before us. He says, let us run this race with endurance and patience. And that, listen, it takes a person who really wants to, who really wants to serve the Lord, who really wants to live in heaven, who really wants to go all the way with Jesus Christ. Come on, if you're here, give him praise. There are people today in America, I want to tell you, there are people today that want to make you believe that hell is a myth. They want to make you believe that there is no heaven. They want to make you believe that, 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 that the Christian and the Buddhists and the, and the Allahs and everybody worship the same God. They got a, a sticker that says coexist. Listen to me. The Christian cannot coexist with other gods. We serve one God. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Is there anybody here today? All these things hitting the minds and the hearts of people, trying to get them to, to sway and to give up certain things with God. Listen, I'm telling you, you got to know the Word of God, the revealed Word of God. God exposing Himself. God showing you who He is. God telling you what He expects. God telling you what He'll do. God telling you about His power, His strength, His ability, everything about Him for your life. Is there anybody here today that can say, I'm going all the way with Almighty God? The enemy, the, the only way the enemy knows how, listen to me, how he, how he grabs a hold of a believer is that he, he wears that believer out. He attacks them with trials and problems and, and, and he comes at them. And the reason he can wear them out, listen to me, the reason he can wear them out is because they haven't learned how to put the, their emotions and their feelings to a side and grab a hold of the revealed Word of God and stand with God. They haven't learned to do that. Is there anybody home today? I said, is there anybody here? Somebody talks to you. Somebody tells you something. I mean, somebody tells you something ugly, and right away you fall apart. I don't know if I want to serve the Lord. What do you mean you don't? If that can turn you away from God, listen to me. What will you do? Jeremiah said, man, if you can't deal with footmen, how will you deal with the horses? In other words, if you can't deal with the little problems, how will you deal with the giant ones? How will you overcome the bigger problems, the bigger attacks? of the enemy that come against your home, your life, your children? How will you stand against them if you can't even handle the little things? Are you with me today, church? Look at this. Look at this. Put, 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 put a marker right there. Put a marker right there. I'm going somewhere with this. Are you with me today? Go with me to Timothy. Second Timothy. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. How many love Jesus? Praise God. Look at this. Verse from verse uh, chapter two of, of Timothy. Second Timothy from verse 10 to 12. Look what it says.
Are you, are you here today? He's talking to the church. He's talking to the church. Look at this. Therefore, I am ready to preserve and stand my ground with patience and endure everything for the sake of the elect, God's chosen, so that they too may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with the reward of the eternal glory. Are you with me, church? I mean, he'll come at you with everything he can. Look, let's go on verse 11. Look what it says. This saying is sure and worthy of confidence. If we have died with him, if we have surrendered our life, if we've given him our hearts, are you with me, church? He said, if we have died with him, we shall also live with him. Amen. Living with him, it starts right here. Say right here. It starts right now. Living with him. Some of us are going through problems at home, marital problems, children problems, I mean sin problems, you name it, money problems, all kinds of problems. You're facing these things by yourself because, listen to me, you lack to surrender your whole life to Jesus Christ. And because you don't surrender your life to Jesus Christ, listen, you're afraid of what others might think of you. But listen to me, listen to me. The devil is using that to keep you away from Christ. You're suffering unneedlessly when you could have God his mighty hand working with you and for you. Is there anybody here today? The Holy Spirit working to help you. Look at this. This saying is sure worthy of confidence. If we have died with him, we also shall live with him. Now look at verse, verse uh, 12. If we endure, if we endure, if we hang on, if we don't quit, if we don't give up, Hello, church. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. If we deny and disown and reject him, he will also deny and disown and reject us. Listen, what is he saying? He said we can't have both the pie and the cream. Hello. Say hello. Look at, look at your neighbor and tell him, come on, brother. It's all or nothing. You got to give it all. Look, look, let, let, me, let me say this to you. I was talking to an old-time preacher just the other day. And, and, and we're talking about what has taken place in these last days. But, but, but he told me something that stayed with me. And he said this. He said, he said, the signs of the times, we see them. How many see the signs? How many all around you, you look around, man, and you say, man, look at that. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That, that devastation, look at what that storm Sandy did in, in New York and New Jersey and all that, all that whole area. People are still suffering there. And, and, and I mean, they, they hadn't seen a storm that big over a thousand miles big in, 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 in circle. Can you imagine? A big storm. That thing was huge. Are you with me? But listen to me. But the signs... The signs are not for the world. See, the world cannot discern what's going on because the world doesn't know Jesus. The Bible says that the carnal man, the natural person, does not discern the spiritual things of God. They can't discern them. They look at those things and they think that's just nature, that's just the way it is, that, that those things happen. But... To the church that knows Jesus Christ. We've been, we've been awakened spiritually. Are you with me? We see the signs. And we know, we know what's with it. The signs, listen to me, they're not for the world right now. The signs are for us. The church, say the church. Why, why the signs? Because the church has got to get itself together. Say the church has to get itself together. It's not business as usual. It's getting closer to Jesus. How many here want to get closer to Jesus? Amen. It's walking with him in a real powerful relationship. The more, the more wickedness expands itself through the, through the land and through every country. Look at Israel right now, man. They're at the brink of a war right now. And we don't know what that can bring. 
Are you with me, church? Listen, listen to me. No matter how wicked it gets, it's wicked right now. If, how many of you have ever been laughed at because you're a Christian? Because you tell them, you know what, I, I'm a believer. And they laugh at you or they mock you or, you know, it's, it's, it's going to get worse. They, they hate Christians. That's the world we live in. That's the ones we pray for. Lord, save them. Change their vocabulary. Change their minds. Anybody home? These signs we see are for us. We, we, we shouldn't be wondering, well, I don't know, should I go, should I run to Jesus? Should I go, should I, should I do what the pastor said? You shouldn't even be wondering. You ought to be running to the altar to meet God. You ought to be going over there and opening yourself up and saying, God, give me all you are. I want everything you got. All right. So, so, so look, look, look what it says. Go back to Hebrews with me. Okay. Look at this. Verse 2. Looking away. He says, looking away. Looking away from all that will distract. The enemy brings in all kinds of stuff. Trials, problems, persecution. I mean, slander, accusations. I mean, he's doing all kinds of stuff right now. Anybody home? Look what it says. Looking away. Get your heart and mind and get your eyes off of all that. Looking away from all that will distract, look to Jesus. Look to Jesus, who is the leader and the source of our faith. Amen. Say he's the leader and the source of our faith. Okay, giving the first incentive for our belief and is also its finisher, bringing it to maturity. Say maturity. And perfection. He, for the joy of obtaining the prize that was set before him, endured the cross. Aren't you glad you were his trophy? He said that that was set before him, endured the cross, despising and ignoring the shame, and is now seated at the right hand of the, of the throne of God. Look at verse 3. Just think of him. Remember verse 2 says, look away from all that stuff. Get away from all that stuff that's hindering you. Get away from it. And then he says here, just think of him who endured for sinners such grievous opposition and bitter hostility against himself. Reckon up and consider it all in comparisons with your trials. You know what he's saying? If Jesus could endure what he went through for you and me, can't you suffer a little bit for him? Amen. Oh, look at your neighbor and tell him, come on, man, get off all that. Get off, all, get off the van wagon. Get off all that stuff. Get off, get off the quitting stuff. Tell him, I'm getting off the quitting stuff. I don't want that. Anybody home? It's good to see Eleanor here and Juanita. Amen. Are you with me today? Listen, look what he's saying. Look what he's saying. If he could handle it, What's wrong with you? Somebody can even give you a little dirty look or look at you kind of cross-eyed man and I'm quitting this. <laughs> you were in the bar. Everybody gave you crusty looks. Now it's because they were drunk. <laughs> and we never quit. We keep going back for more. I'm going to. Anybody here? Yeah. 
I want to tell you something, church. Listen to me. If you don't know Jesus, and I mean if you really don't have him in your heart today, you need him in your life. Listen to me. Life is going to get harder and harder without him. Very, very hard without him. Are you here? Okay, let's go on. Look at this. So that you may not grow weary. He says, look at him. Look at him. Don't look at, uh, look at him. Look at Jesus. Look at what he did for you. Look, look what he went through. And what you're going through, compare it. Compare it and see who, who, who went through something greater than you. Are you here today? So that, why? So that you will grow weary. He says, man, the enemy keeps hitting you, hitting you, hitting you. Man, you get attacked by people all over. You get hit by Christians that want to live half and half and all kinds of stuff, man. And they're not really serious about going to heaven. Are you with me, church? And, and, and God is looking at this, man. He's saying, hey, look away from all that. Look to me. Look to me. Well, I know one thing. Jesus is in heaven. And the only place you're going to be able to look at Jesus and find him is in the Word. Amen. His revealed Word. Say His revealed Word. So I want you to see this with me. Go with me. Are you here this morning? Amen. Am I yelling at you too much? No. Uh, you want me to stop? No. Look at this. Go with me to Isaiah. The Lord is good. Isaiah 43. Look at this. Look what he says to you and I. This is, this is his revealed word. Okay, ver from verse 2 down. Let's go with me there. Look at this. This is his revealed word. All right? Are you with me? Look what it says. There are different degrees of trials. Some real hot and some real mediocre and some lightweight. But look what he says. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. That's God revealing himself to you. In your trial. Anybody home? Say, say this with me. I don't have to quit. He, did, he not only went to the cross, but now he's going with me through my own trials. He says, when, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned or scorched, nor will the flame kindle upon you. He says, I'm going to go with you through every trial. I'm going to help you. I'm going to keep you. Come on, is there anybody here today? That is God's revealed word. <laughs> Say, that's, that's God showing himself to me. Say it with me. Come on. That is God showing himself to me. Telling me, listen, don't back down. Don't, don't run away. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't, don't, let, don't let what anybody tells you cause you to turn away. Don't let, no matter what they accuse you of, no matter what they say, no matter what's happening to you in your life, he said, don't walk away from it. I'm walking with you right through it. We're going somewhere with this. We're going to make it all the way to the end. Come on, is there anybody here today? Yeah. Say, walk with me, Lord. We had a, I used to have a, a, a thing on my desk before I don't know what happened to it that used to say, if you walk with God, God will walk with you. If you walk with God, God will walk with you. Say, if I walk with God, God will walk with me. No matter what happens, no matter what goes on, no matter what comes, no matter if they tax you high, no matter if you ain't got no money, no matter what's going on in your life, I want to tell you today, He's in control. Lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up that mighty name that's above every name. 
There is no one greater than Jesus. He'll cover you. He'll cover you. He'll put his hand over you. He'll protect you. Are you with me, church? How is that going to happen? Listen to me. You've got to separate your feelings and your emotions. You've got to separate them, put them on the sidelines for a moment, and then look at the Word and stand on that Word. Your emotions, listen to me, your feelings and your emotions play with you. Your feelings and your emotions give you pictures. You look at your emotions and your feelings every time something happens. You, you get a picture in your mind and it looks like it's devastation. It looks like it's destroying you. It looks like it's so big you can't handle it. And the devil uses that to distract you and pull you away from God. But I'm telling you here today, this morning, that if you'll take your emotions and your feelings and put them aside for a moment and stand on Isaiah 43 verse 2 and say no matter what I go through he said he would be with me he'll f come on is there anybody here today I said is there anybody here at New Hope Ministry today put those things aside Put your brother. Listen, we got so we, uh, we got so many pictures there. I don't know how you can fit anymore. Every time something happens, man, we we wow. Now what, man? Look at this one. This is this is Hurricane Dandy. <laughs> and sometimes you'll come. And he'll give us two or three or four problems at one time. Going through the fire. Anybody here? And you got to make up your heart and mind. You got to tell yourself, you know what? I don't care what's going on. I'm going to keep going. What time is church? Six o'clock, I'm going to church. Why? I'm going to go worship him. I'm going to go praise him. I'm going to go exalt him. Come on. Is there anybody here? There ain't nothing going to stop me from serving the Lord. He says, I'll be with you. I'll go with you. I'm going to go with you through it. Nothing, nothing can keep him. Listen to me. Nothing can keep him from you as long as you will do it by faith. As long as you will tell your emotions and your feelings, you know, be quiet. I don't want to hear you. How many know they talk to you? Come on, you know that. They talk to you all the time. As long as you tell them, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to listen to what God said. I'm going to stand on the word of God, and I'm going to follow what he said, and I'm going to do what he said. Is there anybody here today that can say, I'm going to follow God? He said, looking away from all that will distract, and looking to Jesus, looking to the living word, looking to the word, the revealed word of God, look into it and make it real. Listen, when you stand on him and you stand on him by faith, then he manifests himself to you. Then he makes himself more real to you than he's ever been to you in your life. Is there anybody here today that can say, man, Lord, make yourself more real. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm going to put, I'm going to seal this, this verse right here. Look at verse 12 and 13. Look at it. Is there anybody home today? We need him. I'm telling you something today. We need him. And we need him more today than we've ever thought we needed him before. We need God to move more in our lives today than he's ever moved. Is there anybody here today? I said, if there's ever been a time when you need to separate yourself from the negative and get away from all the stuff that's holding you down, it's right now, church. You've got to stand on the living Word of God. Look at this. Look what he says here. This is God speaking. And he says, I have declared the future and have saved the nations in times of danger. And I have shown that I am God when there was no strange and alien God among you. Therefore, you are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. There's no one greater than our God. Say it with me. There's no one greater than our God. Look at verse 13. Yes, 
from the time of the first existence of day and from this day forth I am he and there is no one who can deliver out of my hand? Who can take you out of his hand? Who can pluck you out, sister, out of the hand of God? He says, no one can pluck you out of my hand. He says, who can pluck you out of the hand of God? Listen to me. He says, what can separate you from the love of God? Can persecution, can death, can trial or famine or sword? He says, what can separate you from the love of God? He says, nothing can separate you from the love of God. Listen to me. There's only one thing that can that can hinder you and separate you and that's you Amen. you're the one that has to decide I'm going to walk with God I'm going to follow God I'm going to live for God I'm going to let him manifest his life through me I'm going to come on is there anybody here today yes yeah, give him praise give him a big praise Give the Lord a big, big, big praise. Hallelujah, Lord. Who can deliver out of my hand, he says, and who can hinder or reverse it? Who can? If God decides, man, he's with you, he's with you. Nothing can change that. Come on, are you with me? If he said, I'll go with you through the water and the floods and the fire, he says, Who's going to change that? Who can make me change that? God is saying, God said, if you walk with me, I'll walk with you. Are you here today, church? I said, are you here today? We're going to face some hardship. We're going to face some stuff coming toward us. Come on, listen to me. We're not living in a bubble, in a plastic bubble, where we think that we're going to just tap things, bounce off, you know, like we're in the Disneyland or something. No, listen, the Word of God is true and it's real. You and I got to stand on it. Put your feelings and your emotions aside, man. Stop letting them play with you. The devil uses that. He says, man, look, you, you, you let him use that. You know, every time the Bible talks about the flesh, he's talking about this mindset. He's not talking about this body. This body here is controlled by your mind, your emotions. Are you with me? They, 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 this mind tells your body where to go and where not to go. Tells them everything. Your body is only an obedient factor. My mind says, turn around, turns around. Anybody here? It's, it's the flesh. The flesh. You, you got to put that aside. You got to fill your mind with the revealed word. Put God's word in you. Put it in your mind. Saturate your mind with it. Stop saturating your mind with everything else that's out there. It's not going to help you. God is going to help you. Say, God is going to help me. Don't, don't put your, your, your mind on all the stuff. And, and, and then you come in and God, God trying to break into to you. He's trying to break into you. I see that with the youth. The youth are out there. They, they're listening to all that hip-hop and, and, and all that stuff, man, that, that's telling them to commit suicide and take this drug and do this bug and do all that. And, 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 and then they come and, 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 and they go back there and, and God has to literally bust right through all that junk. Well, I don't know what's wrong with my son, my son and my daughter. They won't do it. Well, what are you letting them do? Amen. What are you letting them do? And then you want God to break through their man, and you want them to walk out of their man like they're floating like the Cape Crusader. Shh. No. And that's what happens to the adults. The adults. The adults. Imagine, fill their minds with everything at work and all the stuff that those people give them and, and say to them. And, uh, then they come to church and they're angry at you. <laughs> Brother, I'm going to love you no matter what. 
Yeah. I'm going to go. I made a decision. I made a decision, man. You want to stay, you stay. I'm going. In the twinkling of an eye, you can have the microphone. I ain't got no money, so I can't have that. Well, if the suit fits, you can have it. Amen? Imagine what he said. I'll be with you. Amen. How many believe he'll go through it with you? Yeah. Put your hand up. Put your hand up if you said that. If you, if you believe that, he's go, he'll go through it with you. Now, now look around, everybody. Keep your hand up. Look around. So next time you see somebody complaining, tell them, hey, 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 hey. You said God was going to walk with you through there. Put their feelings and emotions aside. God is good. God is good. Give him praise. Imagine what he's saying. Look, let's go to Hebrews with me real quickly. And, and I'm going to have Sister Becky and the musicians come. Amen. Uh, let's go back to Hebrews with me. Look, look at this. Look at this. I, I wish I could, I wish I could tell you. Oh, brother, we're going to have bags of money falling out of the sky. I can't do that. I'd miss heaven for sure. I remember, I remember Frank, Frank Armenta and, and myself would be driving, and we'd see an armored truck. You know, the ministry was always hurting for money. And, and we'd see an armored truck and he'd say, man, brother, we ought to pray that a bag of money would fall off without a tag. <laughs> so we wouldn't know where it belonged or who it went to. It never happened. God don't answer those kinds of prayers. Amen. So look at this. Look at this. Just think of him who endured for sinners such grievous opposition and bitter hostility against himself, wreck it up and consider it all in comparison with your trials, so that you may not grow weary or exhausted, losing heart and relaxing and fainting in your minds. Anybody home? Look at verse 4. You have not yet struggled and fought agonizingly against sin. Nor have you yet resisted and withstood to the point of pouring out your own blood. He said, look at him. If he can make it, you and I will make it. Amen. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Amen. Say, Jesus. Don't put your eyes on everything else. Don't put your eyes on... Listen, stop listening to people who are confused. Amen. The church of Jesus across America is so divided and confused. They don't know what's white or black. They have become colorblind. Anybody home? Don't follow that. Follow the living word of God. Amen. The revealed word. Get into your Bible. Read it, read it, read it. And when somebody comes to you and tells you, man, look, you don't have to live like that. Sister Tammy, what are you doing living like that, like them crazy people at New Hope Ministries? You don't got to do that. Tom, no, 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 no. Get away from me. Tom, I'm walking with God. I want to walk with God. Yeah, give him praise. And do you know he's our only hope today? 
we, we don't have another. We don't have a plan B or plan C. We only have a plan J. No other plan. He is our only source and our only hope. There's no other. And I want to say this to you. He is all you need. You don't need anything else but Jesus. I'm telling you right now. You don't need all that other stuff. That other stuff will cause you to lose it. I want you to bow your head. Because if you're here today and you don't know Jesus Christ or, or you're backslidden, you're walking bull-legged with one, one leg in the world and one leg in Christ, you need to get it together. You need to put both feet in here. If you don't know him or you're backslidden, I'm going to give you an opportunity today to meet Jesus for real. To let him come and take over your life, your heart. You can't make it without him, church, I'm telling you. Religion is not going to get you there. Religion is not going to get you there. You know what I believe, church? I believe that the time is coming when people of all faiths will gather in this place right here to worship God. Because you see, it's not about religion. It's about the person of Jesus Christ. It's all about Him. If you need Him, you want him in your life. I'm just going to ask you to come and, and meet me up here at this altar. I'm not going to. I'm not going to beg anybody. Because if you want to go to heaven, you got to be. You got to want to live there. I'm just going to give you a few moments, and then we're going to go on. If you if you come, those of you that want Jesus in your life, I want you to come. If that's you, come on down. I'm just going to give you a few moments. No one? You're all saved? You're all going to heaven? Amen. Takes courage. Thank you, Hita. Anyone else can say, I'm going to, I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to serve God. Come. Anyone else? I know there's more of you out there. I'm going to tell you something. The world, the world will kill you. The world will take everything from you and leave you and spit you out and not care about you. Anyone else before we go on? Anyone else? We'll give you a few moments. I know there's still somebody out there. I know it, I know it, I know it. Don't fight Jesus because if you fight him, listen, this, can I say something to you? Listen to me, church, about the Holy Spirit. I'm going to tell you something about the Lord. When he's tugging at your heart and you don't respond, he may not tug at you again. If you need him, you need to come. He's the only hope you have. There is no other. I want you to stand with me. And if, when we stand, if you want to come, you come. I'm going to ask you to pray this prayer with me. Now listen to me. This prayer in itself will not save you 
unless you pray it with all your heart to Him. You got to pray it to the Lord with all your heart. God bless you, brother. Are you with me? And by faith, by faith, this morning as I was crying out to the Lord, I was praying for you. By faith, He's coming into your life. You believe that? Now, I'm going to say this to all of you standing here. Everything out there in that world will separate you from God. I got to be honest with you. You, you got to make a decision to say, you know what? I'm going to walk with the Lord. I'm going to walk with God. I had to make the same decision when I came to Jesus. I had to let everything go, man. I was so involved in so many things. And I had to release it. I had to let it go. Because God won't walk with you in the world and in church. The, the world wants to make you believe he will. But I'm telling you, the Bible says we've got to separate ourselves. I'm going to pray for you. All right? And I want you to pray this prayer with all your heart. Because today Jesus is going to come into your life. Say it with me. Dear God in heaven, I come before you right now. I confess to you I'm a sinner. And I have sinned against you, Lord. And I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Take over my life and wash me with your blood. I surrender my life to you. From this day on, I am going to serve you with all my heart. And I thank you for dying on a cross just for me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask you to follow Sister Terry and them to the back. They're going to talk with you. They're going to pray with you. And they're going to help you. Amen. Follow Sister Terry and, and Pastor Red back there. Give the Lord praise. I'm going to invite every one of you, every one of you, listen. You're not exempt from trials. I've seen people that have served the Lord for 50 years fall away. I've seen preachers fall away. I've seen people who have just been saved a day or two fall away. No one here is exempt from the attack of the enemy. And we need the help of God. I'm telling you something today. You, you will never forget me. You'll never forget me. What's coming is going to be so heavy duty that you're going to remember that you need God. We need God. We cannot make it without God. And I'm inviting every one of you to come and meet the Lord right here at this altar. Come. from that we're going to pray for you right now come come on come on come on down we're going to pray for you get, brother Mike give me that oil come on up come on up come on up I want you to lift your hands everyone in this place lift your hands right now I want you to begin to I want you to begin to pray right now in the name of Jesus 
right now. I take authority over, over fibromyalgia. I command it to loose you right now. I take authority over the pain in your body by the blood of Jesus. I command it to go right now. Urabo Shataya. Looser right now. There's the Holy Ghost, sister. Receive it. That's him. That's him. Holy Spirit of God, flow through her. Now. Tell the Lord, Lord, give me your strength. Strengthen my heart, God. Strengthen my life that I would walk with you, God. Reveal yourself to me in greater ways, Lord. Reveal yourself to me, God, in greater ways. Give me the strength, the strength of your Holy Spirit, oh God. We can't make it without you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Do you know him? Lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray right now, Lord, that you would place your mighty hand upon my sister. Lord, I pray you give her strength beyond her own. Holy Spirit, move, Lord, like never before, my God. Move, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the living God. You are the revealed Word. Move, Lord, through her life like never before, my God. I place her in your hands. Every trial, every issue, every problem, Lord, we bring it all under the blood. We bring it all to you, my God. In your mighty name, Jesus. Oh, let it be done, my God. Let it be done, my God. Let it be done, Lord, right now. Yes, Father. In the name of Jesus, have your way, have your way, have your way. Have your way, Lord. Hallelujah. Call out to the Lord. Come on. Call out to Him. Pray. Talk to Him in English. Talk to Him in Spanish. Talk to Him in tongues. Talk to Him. Lord, help my sister right now. Go with her. Put your hand upon her, Father, right now. In the name of Jesus. Call upon him. Father, right now, Lord, in your mighty name, my God. Father, have your way right now. Move, Lord, by your Holy Spirit. Touch her, Lord, from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, my God. Have your way, have your way, my God. Move, Lord, move, Lord, move by your mighty hand. Help us, Lord, help us, Lord. 
We need you, Lord. Yes, my God. Yes, my God. Have your way, my God. Have your way, my God. Upon him, come on, call upon him. Don't give up. Tell the Lord, fill me to overflow. I want more of you, Lord. I want more of you, my God. trial victoriously strengthen me Lord that I would walk with you in the midst of fire in the midst of the flood 